in this video i'm going to show you how to filter your data sets using measures and some shortcuts of working with the filters card so i'm just going to click this button to clear everything and i'm going to rebuild everything really quickly all right so let's say i just want to filter on cells alone i'm going to drag cells to the filter column and i want to look at the sum which is the total amount of cells from this view right here you can see the least amount of money and you can see the highest amount of money so let's just say something that's from two hundred thousand to and of course you could drag this too so up until 900,000, why not? And then we click OK. Now we only have subcategories that had cells between 200,000 and 900,000. All right. And of course, we could um, look at the card for it. So if you click on this and click show filter, you can see the range here. So you could interact with it from here. And you can move this back and forth. And you can click on this to show all values. And you can click on this drop down menu for more options of what you can do with the filter so you could do at least you can show items that are at least two hundred thousand and up or you could show at most and you can choose items that are at maximum seven hundred thousand in sales and if you go back to this and click on edit filter you can choose at most which allows you to set a maximum amount at least allows you to set a minimum amount and special is what allows you to um, do no values or non no values so those are your options and of course you can click on reset And to remove this card, you can just um, click this drop down menu and click on hide card. And to remove the filter, you remove the filter. So if I add region to the filter, if you want to show you something real quick, let me just go ahead and select all. And I don't think I showed you before, but if you click on white card, you can get very specific about how you want to show your filter. You can be like, I want something that contains A. I only want regions that contain A and click OK. And what you see are the only regions that contain A. And if you go here, you can go to show filter. And we want regions that contain, I don't know, B. And to only show us regions that contain B. And I'm going to add... Um, regions to the tooltip so caribbean has been the name um let's go with a it shows us regions that has a in the name central and all that stuff all right so but that's not what i wanted to show you though that was just a little fun trying to show you that you could um, use white card when you're doing filtering so let's take region and add it to the filter and let's just select everything and click OK. And if we show the tooltip, if we show the filter for this, from here you can choose um, the different filters. You can just choose, um, look at the region for Africa or just look at the region for, you can look at the region for Africa and South. And let's take region and add it to color too. To make it easier and then you can add the region for east for the caribbean 
and so you, from here you can quickly and easily filter your data using this option too if you want this to be if you want the title to be more user friendly just click on this and click on edit title and let's call it sales by region like that and you don't even have to show the title you can also click on this and click on show title and the title goes away or show title to make the title reappear so you could have a single list where somebody chooses a single region at a time or you could choose the all region to show all the regions if you don't want all regions right there if you don't want the all option you click on this and then you go to customize show all and you remove the show all and of course you could remove this so you could also use this search button to search for let's say something like Oceania and then click on it and that's how you use the search and you don't even have to have the search button right there you can remove it by go by going to customize and show search button and search button goes away and we can use a drop down menu for your filtering or you could use single list slider where you choose um, different regions by sliding it now this is not this may not be very useful for this situation and uh, or you could use a value list where you can choose multiple values at a time or you we also have multiple values drop down we have from this drop down you can choose multiple values at a time and of course you have a multiple values custom list this is where you have your own um, custom list so let's search for And then choose Africa and add it um, to the list. So let's find everything with white card March. Let's find everything that has W in it. As you can see, West is the only region that has W in it. So you have many different options of how you would want your filter card to look. So yeah, that's basically how you filter using dimensions and how you can customize your filter card so that when your users are interacting with your graph, they will have options of getting to choose what they want to see and what they do not want to see. That's it for this video and I'll see you on the next video.